the theme is very important because the whole world now is looking at litter and plastics in particular and how these affect marine life because of the plastic that we're littering that is filling up the oceans, the rivers, our fish are affected and as I said this also affects our health and uh, in the end most of our fish are dying from the pollution and uh, some in the end will become extinct uh, and as we know fishing is very important as part of the human diet and nutrition uh, it is also creating a lot of jobs for many communities all over the world uh, especially young people but also a uh, litter marine litter is not going to help us to attract tourism which is the biggest job creator in the world in terms of different uh, industries it is the best uh, in job creation all over the world so if we don't look after our beaches our marine life our waters then it means we will not be able to benefit from this huge uh, industry that is tourism first and foremost uh, recycling is definitely one of the solutions and when we say recycling it is not just companies that are you know like zoom lion or uh, 360 environment uh, and others. They are all very important. Uh, but perhaps the people who are most recycling our waste, especially plastic waste, are the ones who reuse the bottles. So everywhere you see pito sellers are reusing bottles or sobolo sellers are reusing bottles. You know, so the bottles have been reused in many, many plastic bottles in many, many ways. And we have to encourage people also that we all learn to reuse whatever plastic that we have. So there's, there's commercial and industrial recycling, but there's also the household and individual recycling. We have to promote that as much as possible. Definitely part of the solution. But the problem is that already they say the supply of plastics in the atmosphere, in the environment, on the on land, on our, on, our sea, on our water bodies is excessive. I mean, you have to just go to the villages and you see all the lands are taken over by plastics. Especially plastics from sachet water, plastics from carrier bags with a very thin gauge, and water bottles. That quantity already hanging around is big enough to keep the commercial recyclers going for a very long time. And yet, the rate of addition to plastic production, all the water companies are growing in leaps and bounds. They are not reusing their bottles. The beer companies use their bottles. The plastic companies do not require that the bottles come back, except the big voltage bottles you know the large ones companies have a responsibility to reuse their own thing or pay a fine for not reusing them that's government policy but the rate of production is increasing because everybody is drinking water from bottles why because we don't trust the water from the pipes and because we don't trust the water from the pipes we drink water from bottles or sachet and that's, the population is increasing, consumption is increasing, per capita income is increasing, urbanization is increasing. So the volumes of production of plastics is accelerating far beyond we can ever catch up. Thirdly, we don't really have the capacity to aggressively, you know, uh, uh, recycle. Currently EPA says we are recycling anything between 2 and 5%. Even if you grow that recycling capability by five times, you are talking about 25%. You are still talking about 60 to 70%, 75% of plastics that have to go to landfill sites or thrown on the fields, swept by the rivers and the canals into the sea and onto our lands and our communities. It's a serious health hazard. It is also a hazard to any other person that you know, is employed as a, as a fisherman, is employed 
as a farmer. 